Hello students, welcome to English Factory. Today we are going to do a triumph of surgery from footprints without feet. Let us first read about the author before we understand the entire story. James Alfred White, known by the pen name James Harriet, was a British veterinary surgeon and writer who used his many years of experiences as a veterinary surgeon to write a series of books, each consisting of stories about animals and their owners. He is best known for the semi-autobiographical works, beginning with If Only They Could Talk, in 1970, which spawned a series of movies and television series. The characters in this story are Mr. Harriet, who is a veterinary surgeon, Mrs. Pumphrey, a rich lady, and Tricky, Mrs. Pumphrey's pet dog. Let us now have a glimpse what is the story about. Tricky, a small dog, is pampered and overfeed by his rich mistress, Mrs. Pumphrey. He falls ill and his mistress consults a veterinary surgeon, Mr. Harriot. Does he perform operation? Does the dog recover? Let us see. Let us now understand the entire story. Mrs. Pumphrey was a rich lady who had a pet dog named Tricky. She loved her dog very much and was unable to refuse him anything he wanted. Tricky was fond of eating cream cakes and chocolates. One day, when Mrs. Pumphrey was out with Tricky for a walk, the narrator, Mr. Harriot, saw them and stopped to talk. He was shocked to see Tricky because he looked like a bloated sausage. He had become very fat. His eyes were red and watery. Pumphrey explained that she believed the pet was suffering from malnourishment as he did not have any energy and excitement. She told him that she used to give him malt, cod liver oil and a ball of horlicks at night, apart from his regular meals, so that he could sleep at night. Harriet realized that she had been overfeeding Tricky. He warned Mrs. Pumphrey that Tricky would soon fall ill if she did not keep him on a strict diet and increase his exercise. As expected by Mr. Harriot, soon Tricky got unwell and Mrs. Pumphrey had to call Mr. Harriot. She told him that she was very upset as Tricky was not eating anything and was vomiting frequently. So, being a veteran in his field, he knew that the only way to get Tricky well was to get him out of the house for a few days. He then suggested to Mrs. Pumphrey that it would be good to get Tricky hospitalized and keep him under observation for a fortnight. Children, fortnight means 15 days. After hearing this, Mrs. Pumphrey nearly fainted and told Tricky would die if Tricky did not see her every day. But Harriot told her that this was the only option as Tricky was very ill. He brought the dog to his surgery and kept along with a pack of other dogs. For the first two days, he did not give him any food but plenty of water. On the third day, Tricky, who was so listless about the new environment, began to whimper when he heard the other dogs at the yard. He trotted out and started playing with other dogs. His condition started steadily improving day by day. Tricky had now started fighting for his food with other dogs. The dog had been in the new world of joy in its friendly fights and playing with other dogs. In order to facilitate the speedy recovery and improve her pet's strength, she started sending fresh eggs. To enrich his blood, she sent wine and brandy. Harriet and his partner in the surgery were very much surprised at the lavish supply and they enjoyed themselves with all those supplements during their meals. After a fortnight, Harriet informed Mrs. Pumphrey that Tricky was alright and was awaiting collection. To her surprise, Mrs. Pumphrey found Tricky had been transformed into a hard-muscled and active animal. On seeing his mistress, Tricky swarmed over her. Mrs. Pumphrey was overwhelmed to see her pet to be very active. She expressed her gratitude to Mr. Harriot, calling her pet's recovery was a triumph of surgery. The theme of the story is about the blind love, which we possess for the one whom we love the most. Mrs. Pumphrey had no idea that her blind and extreme love for her dog Tricky took him to trouble. Do you think parents like Mrs. Pumphrey exist? If yes, is it a good thing to pamper children? Why or why not? Leave your answers in the comment box. Hope you like this video. Thank you and stay blessed.